very reasonable, but it's moving a little bit fast. Maybe we should do something about that. Let's use something, you know, standard edition from our good friends at UA, the SSL, two bus compressor. How do you spell SSL? Uh, right, like this. What I'm going to try to do with the SSL compressor is to slow things down, slow the needles down, so it's not so dynamic, so that I have more density. There are a few ways you can use a two bus compressor. In this case, I'm going to use parallel compression. If you were not to use parallel compression, you could use it very simply like this. Rain things in. brings everything in, does the little high pass thing that the SSL compressor does, everybody's happy. You could push it further. You could say, I'm gonna super compress, open the attack and get some punch. So now that's starting to sound bad, but if you tuck that and by doing parallel compression, by reducing the amount of compressed signal and augmenting the amount of dry signal, it sounds like this. So that gives you extra punch, but the needles are not slowing down. Then the other thing you could do is go back to full compression down here and have a very fast attack and have a slow release obviously the needles are slowing down and now you tuck some of the direct signal back in and you achieve your purpose, which is more girth, more density, you get a transit for the direct sound, and you get this like mush from the compressed signal. The other thing you could do here is high pass the side chain so that the bass drum doesn't get touched by any of this. That works. From these three experiments, what made me happiest, I think, was the least amount of work, which is open attack. Let's do automatic release and see how this works. And now let's try the side chain. I like it better neutered, maybe not the very, very bottom. Brings a nice kind of like togetherness to it. Let's see if it holds. Mm -hmm. 